In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rename your holiday pictures to give them a meaningful name, followed by a sequence number. We all know what standard image files are typically called, img underscore, followed by a sequence number. The sequence number at the end makes it easy to sort the files in chronological order in the finder, so that is a feature that we want to retain. The img prefix, however, tells us absolutely nothing. For this tutorial, I have selected some of my own photos that were taken during our family trip to Kos in Greece in 2019. On that trip, I took my Sony DSLR camera, as well as my iPhone. They have pictures from two different sources, with two different naming conventions. At the end of this tutorial, I would like to have both sets of photos in the same folder, with meaningful names and in the correct chronological order. My secret weapon for this task is going to be a better finder rename my batch file renaming utility for macOS. This program is currently at version 11 and has been continuously updated since the days of classic macOS. There is also a Windows version of this tool, which I will link in the video description below. You can get both programs from publicspace.net. In your web browser, go to the website. Click on the Better Finder rename. Then click Download and select the correct download for your macOS version. Once the download is complete, select Show the download in the finder. Double click the DMG. Drag the application into the Applications folder. Double click the Applications folder to open it. Find the Better Finder Rename 11 and double click it to launch it. I then simply drag and drop the two folders with my image files into the preview on the right. The next step is to have a look at the processing section. I want to rename all the files inside of the two folders, so I select Subfolders and their contents. We can now see that all the image files from both source folders are in the preview. For each file or folder, we can see the current name and the proposed new name side by side. Notice that with my current settings, both of my source folders would be renamed as well. And that's obviously not what I want. So I'm going down to the Process section again, and I untick Folders and the folders have disappeared from the preview. So I'm now only renaming the actual image files. Producing numbered lists is a very common usage scenario, so it is the default action. But a better finder rename is a very powerful program that allows you to perform all kinds of renames. You can get a short glimpse of what's possible by looking at the different categories. Within each category there are multiple so-called actions. The design philosophy was very much make simple things easy and make complicated things possible. But let's get back to renaming my holiday pictures. I start by giving the files a more meaningful prefix. Note that the program is previewing the name changes as I type. As you can see, the sequence numbers run into the 2019, making the names hard to read. So I'll just add a space at the end of my prefix. OK, that looks much better now. I have probably taken more than 100 photos on my holiday. So I'll add an additional leading zero. The leading zeros are a really good idea because they make sure that your files are always sorted correctly. The find itself is intelligent enough to know that one comes before ten, even without the leading zero. Unfortunately, that is not true for all applications and all platforms. So if you ever share your photos, upload them to other platforms, archive them, etc., it's a good idea to pad with zeros. Also, note the sorting order. At the moment the files are sorted by name and sequence number, but I'm going to change that to by EXIF digital camera date. This setting means that the better finder rename will use the timestamp embedded in your photo to determine when it was taken. This is especially useful if you have pictures from multiple cameras, or if the sequence in which the photos were taken is not apparent from the file name. All that's left now is to click on the Perform Rename button. Every name change is previewed individually to avoid mistakes, but I have already checked the file names in the preview table, so I just confirm all the renames in one go. Back in the finder we can now see that all our files were given meaningful names and are sorted in the correct order. I can now also move all the files into a single folder. And we can see that they are all sorted properly. You can try a better finder rename for free 
but it is limited to renaming 10 files at a time. Vatafinder Rename has several companion programs. Vatafinder attributes can manipulate timestamps, including shooting dates, like the EXIF DateTime original field. It can also be used to guarantee correct sorting in the Finder, even if the image files have no sequence numbers. It does this by copying the shooting date to the file system's creation and modification date. Pikmin Folder Machine is a program that allows you to one-shot reorganize your entire photo collection into a custom folder hierarchy, say by year and month. Finally, Nifty File Lists makes it easy to create structured file lists for filing or for import into Microsoft Excel or database. If you want to see more tutorials on any of my tools, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I found it to be useful.